Welcome to the Emily Otto Show, business coaching for rebel healers, priestesses, and other witchy women. This podcast will give you the tools to help you build and scale your online healing business so you can help more people and make more money. My goal is for you to enjoy your life and business with plenty of time for pleasure and play. I am over the moon delighted you're here. Let's start today's episode. Good morning, good morning. Oh my goodness, I am so excited for today's topic, but most of all because this week I'm running Rich Witch Summer Camp over in my free Facebook group, Business Coaching for Rebel Healers with Emily Otto. Go find it, hop in, grab the link from these show notes, and get your cute butt in there because for five days this week, so it'll be um, June 27th through July 1, I'm literally giving you all the juice you can possibly handle on how to become a rich witch in your business and actually enjoy your business and your life because it doesn't have to be, oh, work is drudgery and blah, blah, blah. And yay, this is what I do in my off time. But you actually get to have fun doing work you love, helping other people and making lots of money. So how do you do that? You get your cute button for Rich Witch Summer Camp, where I'm literally going to walk you through step by step, day by day, piece by piece, different aspects of how to do the thing, how to get visible, how to be authentic. What the fuck do you say about your programs and services? How to show up like a rock star all over the internet so that people can actually see you and pay you for what you do. I'm going to give you hands-on homework, things to do and post about, different ways you can show up, writing assignments, and lots of fun video trainings in short, concise bites so that you can rock and roll and run it forward in your own business. Because I want you to literally get clients and make money from my free content. But in order to do that, boo, you got to sign up and participate. So this is for you. I'm running this program just for you five juicy days, super impactful, super high vibe. I don't add any fluff to my programs. Come on in, get the meat, get the protein, get the veggie protein that you need for your business in five days for free and meet lots of other rad women just like you who are building a business that they love. So join me for that. And I want to talk to you today about going from being a broke healer to a rich witch. And this is something I talk about a lot, and you're going to see it come up in the languaging in my programs, because nobody wants to be a broke-ass healer. And yet, here we fucking are, right? Because some of us have accidentally stepped into broke healer life or intentionally stepped into it. I know that when I quit my six-figure corporate job, I set myself up for the fact that, well, that was the most money I'll ever make. And I'll guess I'll never make that much money again. And I just need to settle into the life of like being a broke healer. And it is what it is. And here we go. I'm going to be a martyr. I'm going to be a healer. I'll help people. But that means I don't make any money. Anybody else out there ever heard or felt that? It feels like if you make money, then you're wrong. You're a bad healer, bad healer for making money. But I don't think that's true. And I think we can make money in a way that feels good and lights us up and also helps other people, right? Now that could be through a lot of free programs, like what I'm doing. It could be through higher cost programs. Look, you're not forcing anybody to buy, okay? You're not forcing people to buy. And if you want to make your healing work accessible, do that in ways that don't make you broke, right? Do it in ways where you're teaching a huge group of people on the internet, or maybe you have a donation-based program once a month or once a week, right? But your whole business model can't be donation-based if you want to make money that pays the bills and gets you what you want in life. And you get to have that. You get to have that. And I can speak from experience because I was the business manager for my partner's donation-based yoga studio. And man, it's a freaking amazing idea. Her yoga studio was one of only five in the country that survived past year one of being donation-based. And now I don't know if any of them survived. I don't know if their models survived. 
she ended up having to move to a flat rate plus model. So there was one class a week that was totally free. And then the classes were donation based, but she suggested between eight, $8 for a class, right? Because at the end of the day, we are in a capitalistic society where there is value placed on certain things. And if you tell people that they have the lowest payment option, most of the time people are going to choose that, whether they need it financially or not. And that is okay. That's okay. But as a business owner, you get to choose your business model structure. So do that. Make donation-based things. Trust that people are probably going to click the lowest option, and that's okay. Make it okay. Get your money, get your income, get your foundational income, food in your fridge, paying your rent or mortgage in other ways. Now, I want to talk with you a bit more about what I see coming up for my broke healers. And I know this is going to land home. This podcast episode might trigger you. By trigger, I mean it might make you feel angry with me or frustrated or like, well, it has to be better or different. And it does, but throwing yourself at the walls of capitalism is just beating your head into the wall on repeat for what? For what? It's very hard to change the overarching structure of this giant system. And it's very easy to make small decisions that nourish your nervous system and your families and help other people. You can do things for free on the internet. You can create PDFs and eBooks and guided audio meditations that help people that don't require your one-on-one -on -one time investment and attention, right? There's so many ways to give back. There's so many tiny ways you can dismantle the system. And I'm arguing for you to do that as the way that you get to be a rich witch instead of a broke healer. That's what you're going to hear me argue for again and again in this podcast, in my content, in my programs. So what is a broke healer? If you are living off of one-off offers, and I'm talking like a $99 massage or a $140 um, hourly program, and that's it, that's the only program you have available, that's the only thing you do is one-off sessions when people want it, hourly rates, payment after services are rendered, you might fall in the line of a broke healer. And chances are you're listening to this podcast because something I'm saying is resonating and you know that you're meant for more. You know that you want more money and you probably feel guilty for wanting that. But guess what? You get to have it. In fact, I would argue that you having more money is a good thing for the world because you're going to do really badass things with it. You're going to invest in other people. You're going to pay really cool people for really cool things. You're going to donate to really awesome causes, okay? So I want you to have more money. You're going to hire amazing other humans to help you. The day I was able to employ other people felt so freaking next level amazing to me to be able to say, wow, the money I bring in through my business enables me to hire other people and employ them also through my business. What? So cool. And you get to have that too, if you don't already. If you want it, you can have it. So payment after hourly rates, one-off offers. And then here's the big thing. Here's the kicker. Because man, you amazing healer. And I've been there. I am also a healer. I'm a healer for healers. I don't think of myself as a business coach, even though that's the name that makes the most sense. So man, I know that this is hard to hear. <clears throat> but you're a hippie healer. You just want the energy to flow. You want to show up and do the thing and just be well taken care of. And I hear you. But in this current reality that we have chosen to be born into in this mainstream society in these times, that requires a business. That requires some systems and structure. It requires scheduling and showing up when you say you're going to show up and getting consistent as fuck in your marketing and your content and in what you're selling. It does. If you want a business, it does require system structure and boundaries. It absolutely does. When are you working? When are you not working? 
when are you gallivanting off in the woods and listening to the fairies and spending time with your feet in the sand and listening to the sounds of the ocean and the wind whistling through the trees? Let that time flow throughout your work time, but be very intentional about when your sessions are, what your programs are, what your business does and doesn't do. When are you working on your business? When are you working in your business? What are you doing and when to create these structures? And that is how we get over there to this rich, witch life, which I know you want it if you're listening to this. Even if my words right now are making you feel itchy, like, I don't know, do I want a business? Don't I? I think I want money. I just want the money to flow in. And man, I hear you. You get to have the money flow in. But don't be sold these lies of like, oh, you just create an evergreen program and then it's out there and just like people buy it. No. There's no such thing as passive income. It's a bunch of shit. Somebody has to do the active work, okay? In order to make money, somebody somewhere is doing active work that deserves compensation, whether that's you and your brain and your experience or your virtual assistant, your social media manager, your Facebook ads person, your Pinterest person, the person building you and designing you an amazing website, that's all work. Passive income is not a thing. Okay, I have a rental home and we make income off the rental home in addition to being able to pay the mortgage. That's still not passive because I had to buy the home. We have to upkeep the home. The people who are living in the home are taking care of it. There is work that is being done and that work deserves to be valued, appreciated and known to be worthy, right? So even if you made an evergreen program, a meditation bundle, you still have to advertise it, yo. You can't just put it out there and be like, yay, I hope it makes money and people find it. No, people need to find it. You have to tell them that it's out there, okay? So what do you do to become a rich witch? You wanna think of the flips of these one-off offers, hourly rates, payment after, no systems and structure, a lack of boundaries on your time and energy. Know what you're giving away for free and when, and enjoy it. Don't just have people pull it out of you. When you say it's an hour-long session, make it a goddamn hour-long session. Don't make it a 90-minute session because it went over and it's what you needed to do for the work, and then you sent them an additional follow-up after, and then they had another follow-up. No, make it a 90-minute session with the follow-up, with the email, and call it a higher price than the 60-minute session, okay? Stop leaking your energy and your wealth all over the place. To become a rich witch, you need to deeply value your own work, your own wisdom, your knowledge, your embodied experience. And I don't give a fuck if you don't have a college degree or 10 million certifications in the modalities that you are working with. You don't need that. The reason you think you need that is because women's work has been devalued systemically on purpose, okay? The idea of showing up, offering what we have from our knowledge, sitting with people, listening to them, hearing them, that has been devalued on purpose, okay? So it is a radical act of rebellion and revolution and deep worthiness and feminism for you to show up in the world, to do healing work, to listen, to beautiful people that need you to listen and to charge money for it. It's gonna feel clunky. You are literally rebelling against the system. Of course, it's gonna feel clunky. Trust that you're doing it right. Hop on in my business group, Business Coaching for Rebel Healers with Emily Otto and get massively well supported by the other people in there, okay? These are the conversations I wanna be having with you. So. To become the rich witch that you've been dreaming of, you need to deeply value your work, which means you need to do some work around worthiness, self-worth, worth worth of your work, worth of your, your existence, right? So let me put one thing straight. You are invaluable. You as a human soul in this amazing body in this lifetime, your value is out of this world. Your value is stardust and limitless diamonds, right? It's not something you place a dollar value on. Your work, the product, your creation, your creative creation, that we can put a dollar value to and ask it to be worthy, okay? So 
deeply value your work, number one. Number two, be confident as fuck. Confident as fuck. And this is a make it, fake it till you make it kind of game because some days you're going to show up especially in the beginning, dear healer. And you're going to be like, I'm not confident. I don't know what I'm doing. Okay. Anytime you hear that phrase, I don't know what I'm doing. I don't know what to do next. I want you to check yourself. And I want you to be like, oh shit, Emily said, I would think this thought here it is. What am I going to do with it? You're going to look it in the eye and you're going to say adorable brain. Thank you so much for trying to protect me today because like shit be real in late stage capitalism with systems of oppression and patriarchy everywhere. Absolutely. Thank you for keeping me safe. And I got this. I know what I'm doing. You know what you're doing. You know what you're doing. And if you don't come get business coaching, come get supported through it. So I can reflect your beautiful knowledge, experience, and radiant life back to you and remind you that boo, you do know what you're doing. You know what you're doing make the post, talk to the people, tell them about what you do, support them with your work. And it's only going to get better and better and better. And you're only going to make more and more money. Okay. It's only going to get easier, but in order to do that, you got to start somewhere and charge money and help the people confident as fuck confidence, confident, listen to gear up songs before you go live, make that a ritual practice of like, all right, I'm going to pump it out. I'm going to listen to a song that like makes me happy and excited. The first one that comes to mind, Fireworks with Katy Perry. Put that song on. Um, Feel Better When I'm Dancing is like Megan, uh, is it Megan Trainer? Yes. I love that song. Play that song on repeat. Any song that lights you up and gets you dancing and moving and excited and confident, uh, play that and then do the business thing. Okay. Your authentic shine is what enables people to connect with you, get to know you and trust you and know that they want to buy from you. So go out there and shine and be authentic. And then to be your rich witch, man, you've got to alchemize the shit. We alchemize the shift. We alchemize the goo, the icky, sticky, dark stuff that comes up for all of us. You create alchemy and magic. Can you perform transmutation and transmute your skills, your wisdom, your experience, your ability to help someone feel better, even if it's just in that moment, into a service, a program, a course, an offering, a one-time intensive, a VIP day, a retreat that helps them and helps you. That is the magic that I teach in my programs and in Rich Witch Summer Camp. Get your ass in here. We're literally rocking and rolling this week. So through that, you create unique containers and programs that no one else could replicate. You create the unique thing that only you can do. <clears throat> then you go forth and deliver it, create payment plans, create long-term programs, that is how you get consistent cash. It is very hard to make predictable, consistent income from doing one-off offerings, whether that's massage, Reiki, yoga, uh, health intensive, a uh, business coaching program. So the goal is a longer term container where, excuse me, people are held over time, right? Grab my bundle signature programs that sell. 197 bucks on my website. That is literally going to walk you through how to make a signature program. Go grab it step by step. Listen to it, hit play on freaking repeat. Consistent cash over time because consistent cash is the reason you haven't quit your day job yet. And to be honest, even though I quit my day job and I had six months of savings, I had two side gigs until I was making $5,000 a month in my business. Two side gigs. I felt like I needed to cover daycare and business coaching. Huge, amazing investment, totally worth all of my time and energy to commit to these things and work side gigs to pay those bills while I built my business. And since then, I've never looked back. I love what I do. I love what I do. I love who I get to do it with. And you get to have that too. Join me this week for Rich Witch Summer Camp. Claim your rich witch life. You don't have to be ashamed to want to make money as a healer. You don't have to be a broke healer martyr in order to do good shit in the world. I love you. Thank you so much for listening. 
You've got this. Listen to this on repeat, on repeat, and join me next week. Bye. Hello, beautiful humans. I am so excited to announce my six figure healer business coaching intensive. This is for you if you're ready to make the income and the impact you know you're destined for. This is for you if you don't want to wait six months for results and you just want some intense support now so you can get the strategy, mindset, and action in alignment with your six figure healer life. What's included? A 45-minute video coaching call with me so you can get clear on your desires, strategies, and aligned actions. Two weeks of Voxer support for accountability, mindset check-ins, and all the magical witchy-woo juice you can handle. Access to both of my DIY coaching bundles, creating your signature offer that sells, and connecting to paying clients, those bundles alone are generally sold for $397. All of that is only one payment of $5.55. You can grab the link in the show notes, book that session with me. I have openings right now. That's it for today. Share this episode with other rebel healers so they too can make more money and deeply support their people. Join my free Facebook group at Business Coaching for Rebel Healers with Emily Otto and stay tuned for next week's episode. XOXO.